I have been waiting some time now to finally put my review out on this fragrance. Even though there are so many other reviews out there and fragrance reviewers just hopped on it as soon as it came out, I didn't feel like it was the proper season to start talking about this fragrance. But now it is because it's hot as crap outside and this fragrance that I'm going to give you my two cents on today, Zoologist Seahorse, is an interesting one for summer. But is it worth a whiff and sniff? Well stay tuned to find out. Cue that intro. What's going on my beautiful fragrance family? I hope each and every one of you are doing phenomenal today and I hope everybody had a fantastic Father's Day. Welcome back to My Two Cents. My name is Brian and this is the channel all about helping boost your confidence through the art of fragrance and helping you become a lasting scent memory. So I decided to go with this hat today because it's the closest hat that I have to a cowboy hat. Why a cowboy hat you might ask? Seahorse? Horse? Cowboy? Never mind. But there are certain fragrances that I pick up and I don't necessarily review them right off the bat because I don't really feel like they're, they're the right season to start pulling them out, to start test driving them. And Zoologist Seahorse is definitely one that I wanted to wait to start wearing in the heat. But Zoologist as a whole has so many interesting fragrances. Before we get into this review, I need to say, definitely go pick up a discovery set of Zoologist. It is an olfactory experience. Very interesting, very unique fragrances. Some of them are actually very easy to wear. Some of them, yeah, not so much. They're all artistic. They're very artsy fartsy. But where does Seahorse stack up? Is it a very wearable fragrance or is it oh, quite challenging? Well, let's find out in today's whiffs and sniffs. All right, you guys are in luck because I've already boxed up my box somewhere and I, I gave up trying to search for it. So there's no box presentation, but I'll, you know, if I catch a wild hair, I'll leave one up on the screen somewhere for you. But I do have the bottle. Well, that's, that's a good thing, right? These are beautiful bottles. You got a picture of the seahorse on there. I love how they're angled like this so they actually sit nicely. Nothing on the back. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. A bottle that truly represents the juice that's inside and the story behind it. They have really nice heavy caps. They just slide right into place. I don't recommend picking up by the cap. Though you can, just don't pick your fragrances up by the cap. You never know. Julian Raskinet is the perfumer on this. Victor Wong is the owner of Zoologist. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray this on my hand. I'm going to throw the notes up there and let's get to whiffing and sniffing. Let me know down in the comments if you have tried anything from Zoologist, if you have tried Seahorse. Let me know what your thoughts are. Always like to know your two cents. Okay, so this was my scent of the day for Father's Day. And I will have to say, I got quite a bit of attention from family and some friends. So it, it does have that captivating feel to it. So, But what I get right off the bat is this fresh, minty sweetness coming right off top. And it's that's coming from, I believe, I think there's fennel in here. It almost gives it that anise vibe. So it's it's almost licorice-y, but it leans more on the minty quality. There are also some really nice spices right off top. And that all segues into this nice briny and, and almost nutty musk. Lots of musk in this fragrance. A lot of it. Now, I think there is ambert seed or musk mallow in this. It's giving it that thick, musky, briny, sweet quality. It's really nice. It's not brash and it's not harsh. It's very, very well blended. 20 minutes into it, heart notes really start shining and you're getting a nice blend of florals. And you're also getting like hints and I get touches of like orange, orange zest, just popping in and out throughout this fragrance. And well, not really in the dry down, more from the opening and into the heart. And I believe that's coming from maybe some neroli or orange blossom, somewhere along those lines. That briny sweet quality keeps flowing into the heart and kind of wrapping itself and layering itself on top of a lot of nice green notes. But the green notes in this are briny. They're salty. You're getting like algae and you also get some clary sage and like i've said before 
Clary Sage can give off this selenic feel when blended with certain ingredients and you know and how it's blended. And in Seahorse, I, I get that. It it there's no aquatic or marine notes in this. It's a it's a natural salinity. And you also get a heavy dose of tuberose but the tuberose in this i get a lot of green qualities a lot of green florality from it and it's thick and you are getting again those musks through and through and the musks seem to get heavier and i believe a lot of the salty sweetness that you're getting is coming from some of those florals but is also coming from a beautiful ambergris now this is a unique fragrance okay I wouldn't say it's challenging. I just say it's unique. You have to appreciate these types of fragrances. They also have another fragrance called Squid. And that is uh, the kind of, this, not the same thing, but it's, it is also a very oceanic type of fragrance. But it's more mysterious. You get this inky quality to it. Or you could also compare this to Mega Mare from Orto Parisi. And I stand corrected because I thought it was Mega Mare, but it's Mega Mare. I'm probably still saying that wrong, but it's a very unique fragrance. I saw on Fragrantica that this was actually uh, compared to Ige from Nishane. Uh, two different fragrances, honestly. Completely two different fragrances. Full dry down, you are left with this sweet saltiness, but it's soft. And then you also get this really nice, just kind of dry, soft, woody characteristic. It really reminds me of like driftwood that has been floating in the ocean for forever also getting those musks musks through and through this is a very musk heavy fragrance i like the ambergris in it i like the algae green quality because it's adding almost like a briny seaweedy quality to it as well the florals are done very well in this the tuberose is i and I, i'll be honest i don't always like tuberose i think it is a beautiful note when done right but sometimes I'm like, Bleh. but it's done very well in this because it really exemplifies and, and tells the story of a seahorse. But it's not just the seahorse. It kind of just reminds me of like a coral reef and all of the beautiful marine animals that are just, you know, kind of flowing around, living their life. They're chill. They're wearing Hawaiian shirts. They're wearing their fedoras. You know, they're just chill. And that's what this fragrance is. I would not wear this dressed up. This is a casual fragrance to me um, because it is very unique. This is not going to be for everyone. For me, I love this type of fragrance. This, I love Black Caviar from Electimus. Um, you know, I love Squid. I also love Mega Mare. I mean, those are awesome and unique and intriguing fragrances. And here at My Two Cents, you know I'm all about helping you set yourself apart. But sometimes you have to really test drive these fragrances before you actually start appreciating the fragrances. Don't just go into it being like, oh, I'm going to like this because Brian said I'm going to like this. No, test drive. I get moderate longevity out of it between that five and six hour mark not a huge projector now you get about an hour and a half worth of projection at least I do but I really appreciate this fragrance because it does really well in the heat it's very natural smelling except I know that they're using quite a few synthetic materials in it it is still very well blended and very well put together I also appreciate that it's inoffensive people might not really understand where you're coming from or why you smell like an aquarium because it kind of does it kind of has that aquarium vibe but not like a dirty aquarium like a really nice freshly cleaned aquarium with no chemicals in it or you can compare it to just a fresh sea breeze and it's a very musk heavy fragrance so when you do get out in the heat and you do get out you know and the wind's blowing around It'll pick it up and, and you will have a decent sillage. Very interesting fragrance. I've thoroughly enjoyed wearing it. I do believe these are $160, $170 uh, for a 60 ml. So they are a little pricey, but you get a beautiful presentation and very interesting, unique, and in my opinion, beautiful juice. I think it is a really good fragrance, but I enjoy fragrances like this. If you want to try something new, if you want to set yourself apart, definitely check out zoologist seahorse
interesting take on an aquatic. So there it is, guys. Zoologist Seahorse. Again, go get yourself a discovery set of the entire Zoologist line. If anything, it is a fun experience, and I would love to see pictures of people's faces when they try, like, uh, I don't know, camel, uh, rhinoceros, T-Rex. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let me know down in the comments what you think of Zoologist Seahorse, but that is it for me today, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and if you enjoyed today's content, then do me a favor. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and always remember you are stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails.